I'm Alex Paul, and I'm here at the Dusseldorf Watch Show at the Sin booth with Falker, and we're going to talk about Sin, and we're going to talk about their watches, and well, how about the show? Is it been a nice, Falker? It's great. It's the first time we are here since 2019. After the pandemic, we are back since uh, 22, three, and now it's uh, the first time. Yeah, it's really nice. It's the best show here in Germany for us, and we like to come here every year yeah, very much. In the past, it has been in Munich. And uh, since 2019, it has been switched to Düsseldorf, which is also interesting because a lot of people live here in this area. And so it's nice to, to present our company and our new watches. Now, Volker, what do you do for Sin, if I may ask? I'm in the marketing department. I'm responsible for social media. I'm doing the artworks for all the visual content. So uh, all the pictures in the catalog and on our website are uh, part of my work. And for social media, I'm shooting the watches by myself. I'm doing the Photoshop uh, work, and yeah, this is what I'm doing. Very cool. Together. So what, what's, what's the, what are the social media tags that our audience should be following? So it's in Spezialuhren with an underline, and uh, we have a German Facebook page and an international in English. So if you search at Facebook for Sin, you should uh, get our pages in both languages. You know, now, now it's interesting because you say sin with kind of like a little bit of an S and a little bit of a Z and there's a big argument out yeah, there. Yeah. I, I, people have criticized me on this Deutsch question, you know. Right. So how would, uh, for, for the audience, how do you properly pronounce sin? It's just like sin, like sense in Germany. The same word for sense is also sin. And we get a lot of uh, word playings with, uh, with the name of our brand, but we, we just call it Sin Spezialuhren. And it's difficult to pronounce in, the, in English because of the Spezialuhren is a long word, but uh, usually we say short, just Sin. It's, it's, if you say if it's a Sin, and yeah, you can talk. Mach Sinn. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. It would be Macht Sinn in German. Yeah. Exactly. So now, I mean, that's all fun and games, and I've owned several of the watches myself. I had a UX, the oil-filled diver. Yeah. I still have a compass. You know, you move the face and yeah. you can see the compass underneath. Yeah. You, what, what new watches do you have here at the show? Uh, we presented uh, last Friday a new chronograph for a watch magazine who was uh, celebrating his uh, 30th anniversary. It's called Armband Uhren. It's a watch magazine since the uh, uh, early 90s. Uh, very uh, famous here in Germany. I've course. seen it on the shelf. Yeah, and uh, we have it here and um, it's a limited edition for 300 pieces. And as far as we know from uh, people who came here, from the organizer or from the cooperation partner, it's more than 50% are sold already. So it's a pretty, pretty good result for the few days it's online. And because also this is a colorful watch, uh, our watches are mainly uh, with black dials or gray dials, some blue and a few white, but this one was a special uh, choice by the cooperation partner who wanted to bring in some colors. Now, I've seen a lot of companies starting to bring in colors. You think colors are coming back, bright colors? Um, I would say our brand is more decent in, in, in bringing colors to watches. But uh, in the last time we had very successful 556 series with, uh, with four colors. And they went skyrocket very quickly. They were sold uh, blue, green, red and yellow. So for us this was some kind of an interesting experience. Maybe we will see that in the future again. Currently I don't know, but we mainly stay at matte black dials. So this is most of the watches we have. Well, you're known as a tool watch company, and frankly, I've even said it in public, you challenge IWC at the base tool watch levels. You know, when you buy, if, you're gonna, if you're talking about a good base Flieger watch, yours is as good as anybody else's in the industry. Yeah, it's maybe because our company owner, um, Lothar Schmidt, has been working for IWC in the past, and he has a lot of ideas which he wanted to bring into realization in, in buying the Zinc company back in 1994, so it's already... Uh, almost uh, 30 years now, uh, where he's the leader of our company, and uh, yeah, he, he has a lot of DNA inside of him. So we, we see a lot of ideas which came to fruition uh, over the years. Very cool. What's in the future? Is there anything over the horizon for Sin? Of course, but uh, I can't tell you now. Ah. It's uh, it's the uh, same as every brand. Uh, I can't speak in the, uh, about the future projects. It's not possible, but next year in the Swiss Fair in, in Geneva, we will, of course, uh, present some very nice things and people can be surprised. Very cool. So, Volker, thank you so much for talking to us at this really busy show. Okay, thank you. Thanks for coming.